Alrighty guys, here we are. It is Friday, by the way, 10.54 in the morning. Picking up this order here from Delivered. And this, gotta be ready. I hope so. Let's see. I don't know, music's so loud. I know for a fact I can use any of that footage because the music was so loud. Maybe just when I first got there. Um, did a little bit of waiting, nothing crazy. Now, this order, when I got it yesterday, I just got carried away by the total. I think I think we're gonna make like 50 bucks. Subtotal is like 320 bucks, I think. So you know that's pretty good. Problem is the drop-off. It's going all the way to Warrington. I don't even know how else to describe this. But Warrington is far. <laughs> it's far from where I normally am for lunch. So we're gonna go ahead and just wing it. We're gonna go ahead and risk it and just stay in Warrington until about like, I don't know, one when it gets slow and then make our way back, you know, towards my area. Because if I do that, if I drop off the order, which I'm gonna drop it off by 11.25, then I'm gonna nuke, not nuke, but I'm gonna like basically waste prime time, lunch time driving back to my zone, you know? So I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go ahead and just risk it and stay out there, assuming that I can even work, like I, that I can even you know hit dash nine when we get there. I think that I can, um, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, but food, you know, wasn't even that bad. Like it was just, uh, Nando's has their own little catering bags. So everything was in there. And then I had a little, little small bag with like the utensils and things like that. So, hey, you know what? It's a win-win right there. So hopefully, we can stay busy. I've never, I've never even, I've never worked in Warrington. I mean, I've been there before for my W2 and stuff. It's just so out of the way. Hopefully I can put a map or something so you guys have some kind of like notion of like where I'm normally at and where I'm going to be right now. So yeah, wish me luck. We'll see you guys there. Alrighty guys, I feel like I'm in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Like I feel like it's just not going to work out the way that I wanted it to work out. Oh, all right, this thing is heavy. So we're going to use our cart because why not? But, yeah, like I was saying, I just don't think uh, I thought this one through. That's my fault. But I've never been this deep into Warrington. My best right there. So we'll see. We'll see. But we're already here. We're actually a little bit early, which is surprising considering how far we are. Um, only, only by a few minutes, though. So no big deal. We're going to use our, our cart here as always. Because uh, why not? Remember, check out the link for the cart in the description for my Amazon store. So you guys can use all my gig essentials. Everything that I use for gig work is on there. Bags, everything. Speaking of bags, I got a free bag from Delivered. Like, I want to say maybe a month ago now. Well, it feels like a month ago. And we still haven't gotten it yet. So I don't know what's, what's up with that. But we're going to go to... Looks like a doctor's office. Sweet 111. Let's see, let's see. Hello. Then she saw me. Hello for a car lot. Okay, no problem. Hello. Perfect. Thank you. It's chilly back here. Yes, it is. <laughs> so you're probably used to it. Yeah. I like the Halloween spirit. <laughs> it's nice. Perfect. No problem. Thank you. Cool. Well, guys, this must be the cleanest kitchen that we've been to. Because if you remember, lots, lots of these, like, doctor's offices are filming. Disgusting. I'm going to go ahead and set this up.
Okay, guys. So we went online. Look at look at the uh, like the map or whatever the zone. It's, it's such a weird shape. Been online for five minutes. Haven't gotten anything. Not surprised. There really isn't much here, except for like fast food, McDonald's, Arby's, Burger King, a couple of mom and pop type restaurants here and there. Um, what is going on here, man? Totally missed my GPS exit. But yeah, so we're just gonna drive back uh, towards my neck of the woods. And if you get something along the way, cool. But uh, it's not looking likely. On the bright side though, we got $52 in the bag, which is nice, but that's about all we have. So yeah. Anyways, if anything changes, I shall let you know. Let's go. Right, plot twist on today. So we were driving back, right? And yo, I took some crazy alternate route. There was some huge accident, like, it goes to show you like how different driving 25 miles or 20 miles in one direction can be. Nothing but green, horses, cows. I felt like I was in a different state, like giving me West Virginia vibes. But anyways, we got, you know, the order of the first one dropped off. And then we get a sign, another one here from Delivered, from Pupatella in Reston, going to another Reston address, like a mile down the road, paying 32 bucks. I'm like, you know what, why not? These are miles that I was gonna drive anyways, and we're gonna make $32. But they said the pickup was at 11.20. Now I didn't get the offer until like 11.50. So I'm like, that's kind of weird. Is it a glitch? What's going on? I'm talking to delivered, and they were like, oh, there's like it was a last minute request, a last minute thing. So how far are you? And I'm like, I'm like 25 minutes away. They're like, oh, okay, that's fine. Keep us posted. Let, let, them know. let us know if the food's there when you get there. So we'll see what happens when we get there. But at least we're gonna make another 32 bucks and we're gonna be back in our neck of the woods which is even better so it's all kind of working out sort of in like in a weird way um but yeah so now we're still about 25 minutes away here from Reston, and we'll see you guys there okay guys we're here at Pupatella, but again i think it's gonna be kind of weird i feel like they're gonna be like oh we made that already or we gotta make it again or something i don't know but pickup time was 11 20 and it's uh 12 27 so yeah let's see what's up hello hey i'm just picking up an easy cater order yeah cool perfect thank you mm. is it all these yep all this and this as well okay cool everything's an easy catering right antonio yeah so all these okay cool i'll just make a couple trips no worries thank you trips here <laughs> these pizzas are ice cold ice cold these pizzas are so cold it's not even funny anyways let me load these up see you guys in a few the order picked up i'm telling you this pizza is ice cold i use the first batch the second batch a little bit warmer so i asked the manager what happened and he said honestly he's like i don't know the driver got here at 11 it was supposed to be 11 20 he didn't want to wait he left that was it literally uh, and you know what's crazy? That we're only three minutes away. Hopefully you can see that. Three minutes away from the drop-off. So, and it's super late. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. But, uh, yeah, luckily it fits in two uh, two catering bags. Um, so, yeah, we're literally almost there. <laughs> Hopefully we can drop it off without any issues. Although, if I was a customer, I'd be highly upset that the order that was supposed to be here an hour ago, it's an hour late and they're super close. So. Yeah. Anyways, for us it kind of worked out. We got an additional thirty-two bucks on top of the uh, fifty-two bucks already. So we're, we're gonna be what eighty, eighty something dollars. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it, hundred percent. So we'll see you guys in the view. Guys, here we are at the building. Now we got everything loaded up in the cart because it's a lot easier when you have a cart, <laughs> to be honest. So you know, check the link in the description. Whoa. I've been to this building. A bajillion times, but never to this place specifically. So hopefully they're not too mad at me when I get there. Even though technically it's not my fault. Alright. Let's see. Looking for Miss Tasha? Sorry about the delay. Perfect. No Thank you. You're welcome. Where should I go? Right there. Tasha, where do you want the food? Oh, well, they're, 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 they're having fun. They're having fun. No worries. Yeah, be careful. 
No worries. Okay, yes, come on. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> no worries. Quick. Yeah, no worries. Perfect. Just a bunch of bunch of pizza. So. Oh, on this table. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I remember now. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped. Let's just see what they were playing. They're maybe doing like some Oculus or whatever the other one is called. So that was kind of funny. Um, super quick drop off. I hate when they ask me questions about the delivery because I don't know anything. They're like, she's like, how many different types of pizza do I have or something? And I'm like, uh, I'm not sure, but they're labeled. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyways, that was simple. So now I think we're sitting what like 84, whatever is on the screen, pretty good I'd say, considering this is not how I thought the day was gonna go. Now we were able to get online because technically right now I'm, they gave me like the whole dash now until like October 11th, uh, and then after that and basically I got a schedule. So we got we got lucky because the map is great and I haven't even received a single offer since going online. So there's that. But yeah, now here we are in Reston. We're gonna stay here probably for most of the day. I'm not entirely sure if, if I'm gonna do any rice here because I feel like it'd be like a really long day and I don't want to drive when I'm really tired, you know what I mean? So we'll see, we'll play by ear. Um, but yeah, so right now we're gonna make our way to the town center and just kind of hang out until we get something. Let's go. It's been a minute, it's currently 2.12. So after doing the second delivery drop off, took a small break and then I realized my latest video that should be out today got copyrighted. So I had to re-edit the video, took some time. Then I'm like, you know what, it's slow anyway. So kind of just took a small break, but now we're back and we have an order from Pop Belly. I think it's paying either 625 or 725 plus, and it's going barely a mile. So it's a win, win, win all around. Current time, like I just said, it's two o'clock, where it's 213, almost 213. Uh, looks like it might rain a little bit. I'm not sure, but I feel good. The, the latest video, not copyrighted anymore. So it's all good. Hopefully after this, it just keeps on going and we'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty guys, so we got the order dropped off. It became actually 1025, which is great. And then this one came through right away from Silver Diner, 625 plus. So we're getting very lucky here with some great offers in the middle of the afternoon. It's 223. The food technically should be ready, but we shall see if it's not ready. Hey, no problem. We'll just hang out. What is up with this sign breaking? Excuse me. That's okay, Sorry. buddy. Come on in. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. It's nice. It's nice. Okay, guys, we're back on the road after doing a little bit of waiting there at Silver Diner, but it's all good. We to, you know what was funny? We were waiting for the shake. They couldn't figure out, like, the, the iPad or whatever the orders comes in. It froze or something like that. And I was telling them what kind of shake it was, and they were like, are you sure? And I'm like, I'm showing you my phone, so... In the end, we got it. I think it's like a shamrock shake, maybe, or like a Oreo mint looking shake right here. It looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, I think it's like Oreo mint or maybe shamrock. I don't know. But we're almost there, only two minutes away. Current time is 2.30. So the time is slowly going by. But I think after this, we're going to be over 100, maybe, or like right around 100. Not bad, not bad. Hopefully, we can crush 200 today before going home. I don't think we're going to do any ride shirt today. I'm not really feeling it. But maybe if I, you know, somehow get like a second wind of energy, a, a second burst of energy, I will, I will do it. I don't know. But as of right now at 2.30, I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways, let me get this order dropped off. We'll see you guys in the video. Nice. Wow. The slow times. Woo. Rough today. It's 3.30. And I've done nothing but decline. A bunch of trash orders. 
And then this one came along. I'm like, you know what? We got to do it. 725, 3.5 miles maybe um, from Chick-fil-A. We just got the food picked up. It was ready. And then we're only five minutes away. But yeah, it's been a rough one. It's been a rough one. It's either been a bunch of like nothingness, like nothing going on at all, or like some disrespectful 225, 250 offers, which is not cool. So maybe you can cross. I'm not going to run you over. Um, I'm not a Maryland driver. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so far it's been a sluggish Friday. You know, let me know how your Friday went. Let me know. Now, when I was in the Chick Fil A, you know, I was, we were talking to some of the other drivers, and it's cool, man, to see like, oh, hope you know, hope you make some money, hope you're busy, this and that. I mean, I mean it when I say it. I think there's plenty of orders to go around. There's no point in being like, you know, negative to each other or whatever. But you know, so there's those moments of like, oh man, it's so slow and this and that. You know, but at the same time, it's you know. I wish there was a way that you could tell who's a driver who's not a driver. Because I feel like there's a lot more drivers than people realize. You know, out here trying to hustle, trying to make that money. So, anyhow, let me get this dropped off. Hopefully, I'll see you a lot sooner than last time. Because last time, it took a, a huge break. I don't even know how long that was. Maybe 40 minutes, maybe more. I don't know. That's Alrighty, guys. We're here on Am Pizza for the next order. $7 plus for two miles, a.k.a. say less. Say less. Absolutely going to take it. 100%. Will it be ready though? Let's see, I'm looking at the screen. Yeah, it says it's ready for Trey. They have a screen, hopefully you guys can see that. So it says it's supposed to be ready. And the music is playing so loud, bro. Hey guys, we're back on the road. The food was, was ready. I just have to get someone to help me. But I, I just don't understand why these, all these restaurants just change most of the time. Just blast their music for no reason. Like, yo, we're not in a club. You know what I mean? Like, you could, if you were talking inside that um, Aunt Pizza, you have to be yelling at each other. You'd be like, what? What did you say? It would be like a yelling match just to have a conversation. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, current time is 3.55, basically almost 4 p.m. Man, it's been a struggle-ish today. But the orders that we've taken so far have been great. You know, so far, I don't think, I, I don't think I've taken a single bad order. I mostly don't. Just, you know, sometimes when it's really slow and I want to do something, then I might take a bad one. But even the bad ones are still technically like decent ones. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, looks like things are starting to pick up a little bit. Well, we got this one right here, $14 from Santini's two orders. It is going like six miles, but yo, it's $14 I and mean, it's $4.15. You know, I think it makes sense. Good cash flow. The food in theory should be ready. Home of the New York Giants, you know, the, uh, Bottom of the NFC East, New York Giants. I'm just saying, just saying. That's where they belong. Garbage. Let's see. Hi. Hola. Tengo dos órdenes para una para Peter y Patrick. Thank you. Ooh, I don't think it's ready. I don't see anything back there, guys. See you in a few. Back on the road, the food is actually surprisingly ready. I, I thought it wasn't, but she went to like the kitchen, kitchen area to get the order. Now it's one large pizza and like a and like a. 20 ounce coke bottle and then the other order is like a steak and cheese fries steak and cheese and then fries my bad but yeah anyways current time is 4 20 and i'm so happy that the food is ready of course i know it's not moving but 14 bucks for six miles right now during the slow times it will take that all day gladly man we're going to the home depot a lot of hay going to the home depot a lot. there's a lot of a lot of loose nails last thing we, last thing we need right now is a nail you know what i'm saying but if it happens, we got the plug kit, you know, we bought it. So just in case, got to be prepared. Anyways, let me get this order dropped off and we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty, guys, we're back here at the town center and we have our next set of orders here. Nothing great, but not terrible. Still within the slow times, paying 9.11 for like 3.7 miles. And if you see the drop offs, uh, well, actually, I'll put the map in for this one. You can see it's not too far from each other. Now, will the food be ready though? That's the real question. I don't think so. What's up, bro? Just picking up for uh, Taylor and Garrett. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thanks, man. Cool. Cool, man. Thank you so much. Have a good day. The, the food's ready. Let's go. Okay, guys. We got the orders dropped off. Dropped off, my bad. We got the orders picked up as you saw, they were ready. So yeah, it's paying 9.11 for like 3.7 miles. I think most drivers would take that. 
and like I said, they're basically like not next to each other, like right next, but they're like in the same direction. And it was ready, so and it's still slow-ish, kind of. And I think after this, we'll be around 140, maybe. So we are, you know, baby stepping into 150, then 175, then hopefully 200 dollars. Now tonight, there is like a back-to-school picnic or something going on at my daughter's school, and the wife wants me to go, and I'm like, I don't want to go. You know, I don't want to go to these things. You know, I was like, you're, I was like, you're in the PTA. You need to be there. You should go. <laughs> I'm giving her a hard time for joining the PTA. Um, and she's like, no, we should go, this and that. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I think so. So probably not. But unless somehow she changes my mind, which is possible, but, you know, highly unlikely. We'll call it a day early, but I don't think so. Anyways, current time and temperature, just 4.58, basically 5. And it's 68, but it feels really nice. Little, nice little breeze. You know, this is, for me, perfect weather. Put the windows down, cruising playing your tunes you don't gotta have the ac on or anything or the heat at least for me so anyways we'll see you guys in a we're dropping off those two orders from chipotle we got another pretty decent offer here from fintai now at first i thought it was two orders same drop off but it seems to be two orders same building so i think it's paying like nine and some change for like two miles maybe so hopefully the food's ready here at fintai oh plus this is my girl right here well, not my girl like that, but I mean, like, I know her. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's see. Hey, how are you? Got Eric and Sad. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. You guys busy today? No. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'll see you later. Thank you. Hey, got the food picked up here, guys. The order was ready. Ready, ready, ready. Both of them are ready. See, this is when DoorDash kind of makes sense. You know, I was coming down this way. I know Fintai is fast. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys, plot twist. We're going to Trader Joe's. The address is for Trader Joe's. So it's going to be workers or something. So hopefully, I've never been to this Trader Joe's. And I've been coming here for like years. So I'm guessing maybe two workers order the food. I don't know. Let's see. We're going to need to find them. Eric and Zed. Let's see, let's see. Bro, there's no like customer service desk or something. I can find somebody. Maybe I can find somebody. I don't know Eric or Zed that work here. Uh, yeah. uh, what? Eric or Zed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. He's right there. Perfect. So are you Eric or Zed? Sorry, I got two two orders. Both. Oh, there you both? All right, cool, man. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I'm going I'm to I'm trust him. You know, you guys all work together, so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, guys. So after dropping off the order at Trader Joe's, uh, which is kind of funny, one of the cashiers took both the orders, and I'm like, hey, man, you guys work here. Figure it out. But then I saw the other customer, whatever. Then I was on the phone. We did one order here from Chick-fil-A, 725. Got that dropped off. And then this one came along from Bonchon. Going into Tyson's. I have not dashed in Tyson's in months. But based on the comments that I see on, on my comment section, people are telling me Tyson's is dead. Then, you know, even Adam, who also does it in Tyson's, is telling me it's been dead. So is it going to be dead when we get there? I don't know. Plus, it was good cash flow. And it's gonna drop me off in another good zone, at least in theory, a good zone for dinner. So we shall see how this goes. I'm curious, kind of nervous, but we should definitely be able to hit 200 today. At least I like to think we can. Um, weird, weird Friday with the catering at the beginning, you know, and then the other catering one that came on top that was like so random because I honestly thought it was like a glitch because they were like. As soon as I accepted, it was like, oh, it looks like you haven't picked up the order yet. And I was like, yeah, because I'm like 35 minutes away, you know? So I know, I know those are like automated prompts, but then you guys should talk to somebody and everything is fine. But it's just been a weird Friday, but we're making it happen. We're making it happen here. Now, hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us. We are kind of far. I'm not going to take the tolls. So it'll take me a little bit longer to get there, but that's absolutely fine. Because again, I'm not taking tolls to get to Tyson's. 
makes no sense. A bunch of back roads, so traffic isn't that bad. But yeah, so we'll see you guys in Tyson's. Let's go. Okay, guys, we're in Tyson's. We got the order dropped off. Shout out to the customer. She came out and met me because this apartment complex is super, super complicated. Now, check this out. As soon as I finished dropping off the order, it said, consider switching zones or whatever it said, plus two. Okay, so a new minimum here is going to be 825 here in Tyson's. Now, which is pretty cool that you, I just hit switch and I didn't have to like end my dash or anything. So that was pretty cool. Never seen that before. Um, so now here we are, you know, looking at getting some bad orders. I mean, it's it's tough when you go, when you go into a zone that has like peak and stuff because what you might think it's a good order, it really might not be, you know? It just really depends. Right now it is like six o'clock, it's 6.15. So it's a lot of traffic at the moment. So I'm hoping I'm gonna, I'm gonna go chill by like Maggiano's, Cheesecake Factory, and these pizza, you know, and that little parking lot. Cause ah, man, to get over to get over this road right here, there's just so much traffic. Um, but if, it, if I get something along the way that makes sense, hey, we'll definitely take it for sure. We are baby stepping it to $200 here, um, and we're getting some terrible offers that you can definitely check out at the end of the video here with our trash decline order compilation videos so, anyhow we'll see you on the first order here in tyson's Alrighty, guys here we are in tyson's i feel like i haven't been here in forever maybe we can try macy's again you know who knows anyways after declining a bunch of orders we got our next one here from flower child pain i think it was nine or 950 plus for like two miles say less absolutely now I gotta pay attention to, and to see when this peak pay ends. Peak pay ends at 7.30, okay, so we got plenty of time. Uh, and also, you know, I forgot how chaotic it can be. There's like nowhere to park, but I got lucky here with a 15 minute parking spot. So I'm pretty sure they, they will tow over here, yeah. Not as bad as Arlington though. Arlington is way worse with the parking. All right, flower child, haven't been here in a minute. Will the food be ready? Let's see. Oh wow, in front of once, they're not blasting music. I mean, it's playing, but it's not blasting. It's ooh, an additional 1025 for 3.3 miles. Yes, sir. Ooh, we got the order right here. Nice. Cool. So the order is ready here. Got that picked up. And then they gave me an order right here for the North Italia, which is right across the street, right over here. Will the food be ready for that one? Pick up time is 6.30, oh man. So we're gonna say that we're here. I'm just gonna put this in the in the hot bag so it doesn't get cold. Actually, what is it? I don't even know what this, what, what it is. But just to be safe. And then we're gonna go to North Italia. Cause the car's right there. We're walking back here to North Italia. Uh, I, you know what, thinking thinking about it, I shouldn't have marked the first one that's picked up. Because now the customers are gonna think, hey, why isn't he moving? <sighs> man, that was a rookie mistake. Let's see though. Oh, it's not looking hot. You're welcome. Wow, there's a lot going on right here. A lot, a lot. Guys, you know what? I thought the food wasn't ready, but they had like a little, I don't want to say like a cover, but it was like hidden. I guess maybe people don't steal food. I don't know. But the food was ready. It just took me a while to get to the hostess because there were so many people ahead of me. But here we are. We're seven minutes away, 2.8 miles from the first drop off. And man, the traffic here is nuts. Um, but yeah, so we're making our way there right now. And then this is from Flower Child. And then the next one is from North Italia. So hey, between these two, at least 20 bucks, I think, which is awesome. Exactly what we needed. Um, so see, things like this, man, I hate that because I feel like it's going to make me want to cheat on my zone on resting. You know what I'm saying? The temptation of um, of Tyson's and the peak pay and the fact that I know the merchants and I, I kind of know the area, you know? So like it wouldn't make sense right now for me to take a Chick-fil-A order, a McDonald's order. First of all, they're like in horrible spots the way they're located. So it will take you forever to get to either one of them. So it's like you kind of have to be real smart with what orders you take and whatnot. So, yeah, I don't know, man. 
I know tomorrow we're not gonna start super early because on Saturday mornings the wife always has plans. She she has things she wants to go do in the morning, um, and I just stay home with with the baby. Well, she's not baby; she's five. But it's gotten to the point where yo, like she's teaching me stuff, you know, which is hilarious to see her like developed, you know, her own like character traits and whatnot. It's pretty cool actually. So I recommend have a kid, you know, at least one, you know. I would say seven out of ten would recommend, you know for the lack of sleep and all that stuff. But after you get over that, seven out of 10, would, would recommend for sure. Have at least one kid. Um, but of course, preferably with someone that you like slash love, you know, cause it is gonna share their traits also. So you don't wanna be with like, you know, someone that's a little bit crazy, you know, but anyhow, before I get in trouble <laughs> on my own video, we're five minutes away now. We'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, we got the first one dropped off. Yo, there's so much construction. What should have been a simple left turn was so complicated. And of course, the person in front of me was taking forever to go. And it's one of those intersections where you kind of just got to just, yo, put your foot on the gas and then fly through the intersection. You know what I mean? It took a while, but I got the first one dropped off. I think it became 1325. There were seven minutes away from the second one, uh, which again, also to get out, I have to basically join the highway. Not really. And then make a U-turn and then go back the other direction. I cannot wait for this construction to finish. But then again, construction is just like never ending here. Never ending. Uh, current time, by the way, is 640. And I'm not even sure where we're at, but it's on the screen for you guys, money-wise. Uh, it's starting to get dark. Again, this peak pay goes until about 730. So we still got basically a whole hour left of the peak pay, which makes our new minimum 825, which typically is 625. You know, so we'll see what happens. We'll see you guys real soon. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off, both of them now. Current time 650 and we're sitting, assuming my math is correct, at like 199. Like it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen for sure. So, but how much can we do? Maybe 250, 300, maybe? I don't know. Now part of me is, you know, when you see the numbers, I'm like, yo, no, we can stay out all night and maybe make 400 or whatever. And then part of me also realizes, yo, you're human and you gotta get sleep. You're gonna be functioning tomorrow for your wife and kid. And then you also, you know, gotta edit the video at some point. So probably not. Um, but I think we're probably gonna stay out till at least after dinner time, like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Um, hoping to make maybe 300 bucks. Who knows, who knows? The peak uh, pay is still, still applies right now. We haven't gotten a single offer since um, ending the last two orders. So we'll see. Let me know how your Friday went. Let's go. Alrighty guys, hopefully you can hear me okay. It's kind of windy, but we got our next two orders here. One from Honey Grow, paying like a random amount, like 12.38, I think, a couple miles. And then he sent me a stack here from Dave's Hot Chicken. I think also paying like an additional 11.75 plus for like four miles, I think. Now this is new, uh, or at least the last one that I was here, this wasn't here. So will the food be ready? I don't know, it looks like it's absolutely packed. So I'm hoping that uh, the food will be ready, let's see. Okay, guys, quick update. We got both of those orders dropped off, drove all the way back. The peak was gone and it was dead. I mean, dead, dead. So I stopped by, I uh, got some food, met up with a friend real quick. And then, you know, I had that dash on the entire time. I actually ended up ending the dash and I started a new one to see if that would do anything. And as soon as I did that, I got this order right here from China Express. I don't know, it's on the screen. I think it's paying 1766 for a couple of miles. I said, you know what, why not? It's getting kind of slow. It's already like 8.30 basically. And this should put us around 250, I think. Close, close. Anyways, I think once we hit 250, we're probably gonna go ahead and call it a night. Getting kind of tired, but we shall see. We'll see you guys in a few. Okay guys, we got the orders dropped off from the Chinese restaurant. And we're done. We're already home. After dropping it off, I wasn't getting anything. And I started getting kind of sleepy. And I'm like, ooh, no, let's go home. So we're going to finish around, I think, 241, you know, which is kind of disappointing. But I think going to Tyson's was the right move to see what it was like. There's definitely a lot of potential there. So one of these days, we'll go back to Tyson's uh, to see what it's like for a full day. But as of right now, I think it was the right move. We definitely crushed a $200 goal. Then we fell short of 250 but not too bad. 
Anyways, remember to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the trash compilation or the orders that I've declined. Well, not all of them, but a, a big amount of orders that I've declined. So you can see that I'm not just getting these good orders. I'm getting a lot of garbage here uh, in any zone that I'm in. So we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace.